So tonight we have one goal, one mission in our life, and that is to tame a whole bunch of wardens. Well, not really a whole bunch. One is kind of what I'm fighting for here. We just we just need to get one warden. Surely it can't be that difficult, right? It's just a warden, you know, allegedly the the <laughs> most dangerous mob in Minecraft. What's 500 health, fire resistance, no fall damage, and a ranged attack that destroys you? What even is it? Uh, so we go and pop some totems tonight, but we also need to do some decoration for our shop. If you didn't catch the last live stream, then you might not know that we have a shop now. Uh, it doesn't sell anything yet, but it's about to. It's about to. Taming like a lion tamer? Yeah, just don't get eaten. What's the worst that could happen? What is the worst that could happen? I think it'll be perfectly fine. I don't know what you're so concerned about. You need to chill out. Right, so this is the Cherry Chown. The Cherry... The Cherry Chown. Yeah, Cherry Chown. <laughs> Impossible Tones. I haven't heard the song for years. <laughs> Liz missed out on the name and I am so sad. You were so close to having them all. I think you might have already named Relic though, didn't you? I don't know. As you can see, it's thundering on the server yet again. Uh, but I am ignoring something in the chat. Assassinations gifted... 10? 5. 10? Wait, it looks like it's... So... Oh wait, no, they showed up twice. Okay. Yeah, they all popped up twice. I don't know why that happened, but we got a gift of subs to Bartman, Martian, uh, Boy Mom, True, Pat, and Flip Up. Flip Up. Flip Up. <laughs> uh, yeah, hi. Welcome in. Thank you so much for gifting subs. Everyone show some love to assassinations in the chat. Having items in my armor slots? Well, I don't need that. Nobody's online, right? Yeah, nah, nah. We fine. Yeah, nah, nah. We're good. Uh, where's my thing? There we go. Timer. One minute. Hi, Pigo. How you doing? Do you want a carrot? You like carrots. Oh, you don't like carrots. Oh, it's only the the bunnies. It's only the bunnies that like carrots. Uh, let me in. That guy can probably get in here because the door opens to everything. Yeah, nah. Oh, it actually spread. Oh. I forgot I could do that. Oh. Huh. Yeah, because we have the, the thing right here. Okay, well, hopefully no one dies. <laughs> <laughs> this one shop kind of looks flashy. Yeah, that's the, that's the idea. Okay, so if you haven't seen this, this is the front. So up here we'll sell some generic common items. Nothing really too shabby. And then if we drop down over here, we're going to have like a secret entrance of sorts. Uh, I don't have anything to do this with. Should we just MLG Pro it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so this is what I just dug out before stream. Uh, this is going to be the size and general shape of our new shop. So we need to decorate all this. Shouldn't take too long. And then we're going to have the warden back over here. Uh, I forgot to grab the bell and the redstone. So we're going to have a, a doodad down there. And this is where the warden's actually going to be going. Yeah, that's where the warden's actually going to be going. So I figure we should probably decorate the shop first. Because decorating around a warden just seems a little bit sketchy. Just a little bit. Uh, so my basic idea is just to make it look like what it looked like above. Uh, nothing terribly, you know, over the top. Uh, but I brought some extra shulkers with me. I got the materials that we need. All these are just empty. It's just for extra blocks. Totally keep me from dying in the warden. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be using a bell and observer comm bell for the warden. Hopefully that's fine. And then it's going to be distracted. So as long as we're walking on carpet, then we'll, we'll be totally fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as we don't get too close to it. So we're going to have a wall right here. And then we need like a five, six block gap. So as long as we don't cross this line and the warden's like over there, then we'll be good. The warden shouldn't be able to do anything to us. He's going to be distracted by that bell. So that's the general idea. Now, how we get the warden in there is going to be a fun part. Uh, we'll need to get ourselves another portal, I believe. We have an ancient city in like 200 blocks that direction. Maybe less even. So we could we could do it the fun way or we could do it the less fun way. I think they're both going to be fun. Either way, we got some diamonds to pop right at the beginning of the stream. Oh, that's where the stupid cave is. I was looking for that. 
because I always heard things around here. Uh, yeah, so it looks like it's just four. Get your guesses in the chat. Yeah, this is probably a problem. I, I wouldn't want this stuff down here not lit up around a warden. By the way, there's a warden that needs a name. In case you didn't realize that, we got it. We got a name tag that warden. Uh, I also want to kill some wardens as well, get some warden heads. So we'll be doing that tonight. This is way bigger of a cave than I thought it was. Ooh, don't fall in the lava. Actually, I might steal that lava later. I still want to think spawning back here because that would distract the warden. Maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. We'll see what's up. Come food. <laughs> anyway, let's break up on these diamonds, shall we? Ah, dropped down. Uh, seven. That's not that great from four, is it? I don't feel like that's that great. Nobody guessed seven. It's my diamonds. Uh, I guess the closest person to guess it was uh, single with eight. Congratulations. No cookie for you, but a shout out in the chat. <laughs> right, let's put these in with the rest of the good stuff. That's the redstone box. This is the good box right here. Good box of goodies. I really like this box. I don't know what it is. It's just a really nice box. Something about it just makes you go, mmm, delicious. That's the fortune pickaxe. So I think the first thing that I want to do is get ourselves the bubble column installed. So that's going to be the exit right here, I guess. And then the other side will be the entrance. And that should be fairly straightforward. So we'll just drop down right here. Easy. Not a problem. Now, there's two ways of doing this. We could do the kelp method or I brought 64 ice, uh, which is not actually enough because it's 80 blocks down. So I guess we'll do the kelp method. And then I need some blocks. I guess we should go up to the surface, actually. Get all of our building materials. And then we need to get some calibrated skulk sensors as well. No creepers up here? Okay, no creepers. Let's go. Take all of this. Take this. Take this. Take that. We'll leave the crafting table. Nobody needs that thing. I have a new crafting table. It's my new best friend. Bubble columns cause lag. If you have like a hundred thousand of them and they're like a block tall and you have like two items or a bunch of items floating around in there. So basically like a poorly built, uh, you know, squid farm or something, then it can cause a lot of lag. Otherwise you should be totally fine. Yeah, they're not really going to cause that, that big of a deal. I guess we'll use some pink glass panes because that looks like maybe all that I have. Excuse me. Oh, can I get down a catalyst? Oh, he died already. That's stupid. Yeah, I don't have any other glass, do I? Okay, pink glass panes it is, boys. I like pink. Pink is great. Everybody likes pink. Nothing wrong with pink. If you think there's something wrong with pink, well, I'm pink. So, you know what? You're just gonna have to have a problem with me. This is not enough glass panes, I'm realizing. I thought I was prepared for today's live stream. I'm slowly realizing that that's a lie. I legitimately just don't have anything else. None of these boxes have anything useful in them, as it turns out. Okay, we'll just use some temporary blocks. How about that? Pink. Pink's a color that, that exists. That is the most I can say on the matter. <laughs> I don't know why I have more than a stack of rockets. I have sand. Yeah, but that requires like smelting and stuff. Can I beat the water down? Yeah, there we go. Uh, ow. <laughs> oh, I can't have that be a soul sand right now. 
That's gotta be a kelp. And then we gotta wait for this thing to hurry up. Why is it so slow? Oh, okay. It's actually way closer than I thought it was. Cool. And then we just go ahead and build up all this whole thing with kelp. And this will turn the flowing water into water sources. Bubbly or bubbles. Bubbly or bubbles never cause no lag. I uh, will have to fill in that little cave right there. Actually, you know what? We should do that right now. I blocked it off earlier because I didn't want to deal with it. And for good reason. Look how many mobs are back there. For no good... It's a two-block tall cave. There's like three... There's three blocks in total back there. I don't know why there's so many mobs, man. Stop it. Get some help, everybody. Stop. Please. You're embarrassing yourself. This guy's persistent. Can you just stop? <laughs> Bro doesn't know when when to stop. Doesn't know how to get ahead in life. Uh, right, I need to get rid of all that water. And I don't have enough blocks to do that. Pink is an S tier color. I'm glad you think so. Can I not place that? Thank you. I nearly died to a skeleton. Don't tell anybody. Air, air, air. Stone, or stone. We could use with a lot of new updates in Minecraft. I feel like you guys are onto something here. Stone, or stone. That's the kind of innovation that we've been seeking in Minecraft. All these snowier snells and muddier muds and sniffier sniffiers. Nobody quite gets it like you guys. Stone, or stone. That's where it's at. Okay, this should work now. Bubbles! I told you it would work. So the boss our manager. Light blue color. Okay, we can do that. I got you. Never gonna give you up. Not gonna let you down. Not gonna run around and desert you. Right, we're gonna put down a carpet. This whole thing is just gonna be carpet. I'm not worried about having anything else special going on. And then we should have... Oh, no. Oof. We don't have that much skulk. Uh, I guess we can go wild harvest some stulk. Some stulk. That sounds like a good time. Right, what color do we want our skulk to be? Or, sorry, our carpets. Here we go. We can't have any skulk sensors down here, because that's going to be really annoying. But yeah, what color do we want our carpet to be? We have not a lot of colors. We need to get some black. Okay, let's go get some glass, some skulk, and some black dye. I know where to get all of this. And look at that. We can take the fancy new bubble elevator. Ta-da! For some reason, when you walk up out of here, it never detects you. It's the weirdest thing. Magenta carpet. Ew. I do like magenta. Magenta is a good color, especially in Minecraft. It's very nice and saturated. But, nah, man. Not for this. Not for this, man. Well, here we go. Right, hopefully we got some stuff here. Finally a warden you can name. Yeah, true, Liz. See, it's a good thing that you didn't name that music disc. Because then you wouldn't have had the points to name the thing. Also, yeah, Relic is already named, by the way. By Liz. Like, there's there's no more Relics, actually. I'm, I'm not going to get another one. So, sorry, Antique. I cannot... I cannot do that for you. Oh, I accidentally marked it as complete. Ah, I stole your points. That's my bad. The buttons are right next to each other. Oops. Uh, there's no way for me to fix that. 
Yeah, I can't give out points or anything. I know. I'm a horrible person. I'm sorry. The fan, welcome back. 11 months. You're crazy. Almost a year. We're here for glass. Ta da. We're here for black dye. Oh, 23? That's not too terrible. We should probably go get some more. And then we came here for a third thing. We came here for some skulk. Maybe I'll use a bit of obsidian. Just like mix in some black blocks, you know? Oh, coal blocks. I wanted to get some of those too. Uh, where do- where did I put all the coal at? Yeah, it's not coal, man. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good. And then I'll grab some more black stone as well. We have plenty of deep slate there now. Let's go head over to the place. The farming area. Hopefully we got a bunch of ink over there. We totally should. Thirsty boy. Thank you for the hundred biddies. You never met her before? That's great. <laughs> That's great. How do you tame a warden? Uh, with a lot, a lot of very loud noises. Basically, just gotta go like, lo, 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 lo. yeah, just gotta make a lot of loud noises at it. Yeah, see, look at that. We got ink for days. Ain't nobody got more ink than me. Please don't fact check that. I don't feel like being wrong right now. Anything else here that's actually even remotely useful? Mmm. Looking. Ooh, black concrete, bro. I should have came over here like ten thousand years ago. This place is great. It's got so many good resources. Oh man, so much black concrete here. I really should have. <laughs> I forgot we made nine stacks of. <laughs> these are a rare limited edition item, by the way. You guys need to name a lot more of these. Only one of them has been named. Pain and suffering. Somebody's got to name the rest of these seven stacks over here. Especially that stack of 32. That's that's an extra rare. That's like the shiny version. Uh, great. What else can we take with us? Looks like our inventory is doing pretty good. Okay. Uh, I gotta talk to Foxy again about the phantoms not working. Right, I think we just go this way. Yeah, please don't spam the chat, thank you. The bot will have a have a little fit about it. Phantoms work for Silent 2? They do, but that's the problem. They shouldn't work for Silent 2, they should work for me. I'm the boss. I pay their bills and sign their checks. They need to work for me. Yeah. Maybe not that dramatic, but close to that dramatic. Also, yeah, that's yeah, that skeleton that we killed. Uh, really. I kind of like it, actually. Can you shut up? This thing's so annoying. It's yelling at me for going the wrong way. That's what it is. Traffic police. Oh, that wasn't so bad. 80 blocks only took... Seven and a half hearts? That's a lot of fall damage. Or not a lot of fall damage, but like a far fall, you know? If you don't understand what I'm trying to say, don't worry, neither do I. We're in, we're in the same boat together. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a button. Can you make blackstone buttons? I think it has to be polished. Yeah, so nice button. We'll put that like right there. And then a water block. Ugh, can't do it. There we go. And that'll prevent all of our, our ugh, that'll prevent all of our fall damage. Words are difficult, everybody. <laughs> I cannot do them under any occasion. Let's see some black glass, and then we'll turn that into some black panes. And then we gotta go rip out this pink over here. So I do want the ceiling in here to be four blocks tall. Or like the room to be four blocks. And then the ceiling will be on the fifth one. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nice and airy in here. Three blocks is fine. 
Sometimes, but this is a refined establishment. We have good taste. I, I need them high ceilings. And it is really hard to place these things. Place. Why did I think I could do this without making a mess? It's so difficult to place! How does anybody do this? <laughs> there we go. I'm just short two. Oh, can I dye these ones, actually? I think I might be able to dye these. Oh, you can't dye them. Okay. That's fine. I knew that. Skill and precision. I don't believe anybody has that. If I can't do it, nobody can do it. It's just how it works. There we go. Look at that. Nice and clean. Very good. Actually, I did not need to make any more. I just needed to not misplace them. <laughs> Great. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Every time. Making a fool of me? Actually, I make a fool of myself. I don't need anybody's help with that. Right then. So, we definitely need more skulk. That's, that's definitely a fact here. Uh, let's go ahead and change all of our pink into a black. Like, you can't re-dye it? I'm, I'm sure you can. I'm like 90% positive that you should be able to redo that. It's one to one? Okay, but look at this. Hold up. We can do it this way. No, what? We literally just did this the other day. We just did this the other day. Oh, wait, hold up. You know what it is? I bet you it's it's one of those cheeky, stupid recipes. Yeah, see, there, it's got to be the black dye. It can't just be an ink sack. Okay. Foxy just doesn't know how to make an add-on. <laughs> make black dye. Yeah. See, I, I use my critical thinking brain skills. I used all 10% of my brain power for that. Cool. Uh, so these blocks right here are where the armor stands are going to be going. Oh, they did introduce the change with the carpet. Okay, well, I guess we need to rip out all this. Uh, so that it's just regular deep slate underneath the carpet. Because now you can hear the block underneath the carpet. Which is very inconvenient for all of us who have been using carpet to hide... The tragedies of everything that's underneath the carpet. Mute Liz, please. Okay. Whatever you say. Bye, Liz. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> oh, it's from Frank, too. Ah, friendship destroyed. Zero friendship remaining. Right, that was... Definitely not enough carpet. Does anybody else agree? Because that was just an, an absolutely pitiful amount of carpet. 27 more carpet. We're going to need a lot more carpet up in here. Did I grab enough dye for this? I feel like I'm severely understaffed in the dye department. Okay, stacking 23. This is going to be it, guys. This is all we need. Uh, we should probably also get some blue in here. Maybe like some... Some cyan. I feel like that'd be good. Use that for some highlights. Okay, we're down to like zero carpet now. No, I lied. We had backup carpet. Why is this stuff so expensive to make, man? Like, wait. Okay. I was like, did I just duplicate that? No, it's a fake item. Be way more useful if we duplicate it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have another stack of wool in here. That'll give us... What, three stacks of... No, it's two to three. So that'll give us a stack and a half or something. Shut the board, I'm going to appreciate highlights. I think it would too. Warren's a cool guy like that. 
Uh, we have barely any cyan, though. A stack and some would probably do the rest of this, right? Yeah, they are ridiculously expensive for no good reason. At least I'm saving on the, the die cost. Because the die is also really expensive. Let's make a stack of this and see where that takes us. We don't need to do this edge right here because that's like the wall. I already mined this out like extra large for us. We are going to need to figure out some light sources. I might just put some stuff underneath the carpet. Oh, look at that. We have one to spare. Oh, yeah. Professional Minecrafter. Oh, wait. Hold up. Yeah, no. Those are real carpets. This is going to be the wall right here. So is that one. I don't know what to do back here. Uh, we might just completely ignore that and pretend it doesn't exist. I think that's a great idea. Anybody not in favor of that idea can just leave the chat. Right, let's make some cyan. Cyan's great. Let myself some cyan. Cyanobacteria, cyan dye. It's all great. Might have been too much. No, definitely not enough. Nine carpet from all that. Bunch of berry jack o' lanterns. Perhaps. Oh, you know what? We also need. Oh, that's stupid. I didn't think about this until right now. Uh, we need a place for the item frames. So we gotta have some item frames for some signs. Oh, maybe we can hang it from the ceiling. Hanging signs! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Dark oak, maybe? Dark oak could be good. I'm way too excited about hanging signs. Because they can go diagonal, which is exactly what we need. And then we can put some light sources back behind here. Realizing it's very dark in here. I also don't know what these cobblestone blocks should be. But I know that they should be something. Something pretty. Maybe diamond. Diamond might actually be what we go for. Uh, so you notice that there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this side, seven on that side. That's 14, and then 15 and 16 right there. Uh, so that's going to be for all of our armor trimmy dudes. Do I have more black carpet? Oh, just a, barely a little bit. Uh, Stone, welcome back for 19 months. That's a long time. Baron! Oh my god, yeah, the blue wood. Yeah, I forgot about the warp woods. Yeah, that's that's totally what we're going to use. Uh, you know what? We should probably collect a little bit of that anyway, because that totally goes with the block palette. I so forget that those woods exist, like, all the time. Right then, let's see. What do we have to do here? Walter White's legacy. Oof. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> How'd you come up with that, of all things? Uh, Smith, welcome back for 16 months as well. That's a very long time. Jeez. Everybody's getting them resubs in. Right, let's use some black concrete for the back over here. Oh, wait, no, this is underneath the wall block. So none of this actually matters. Wait. Where's the wall going to be going? I think it's going to be going... Where's this thing at? Yeah, the wall's going to be going right here. Okay. Yeah, so that doesn't matter. And that one doesn't matter either. Okay, perfect. And in case anyone hops back here, we'll just put some carpets on top of there.
This is not ignoring the area behind the wall. Well, you know what? I am able to change my mind at the drop of a hat. And I usually do. Generally, we are going to be ignoring it. But you'll be able to see a little bit of it. So we're just going to make it a little bit nice. And then all of this is just standard blocks. Because that's the corner. Uh, this is the furthest that you should get towards the warden, I believe. Oh, we forgot to pick up a bell. I did forget to pick up the bell. I was not saved by the bell. Boo. Boo you. <laughs> Didn't watch the show. Neither, neither did I. Right, what blocks are we going to use for the armor stands? Maybe we could do, like, catalysts. Catalysts could be good. I really want to get this done sometime soon. Like, relatively quickly. Because we got a lot of, uh... A lot of warden taming that needs to happen in the stream. So if I die from a warden in here, it's just going to spread skulk everywhere. It's going to be delicious. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of stupid looking, isn't it? Might look better once we get the whole thing in. Oh my god, there's literally bells right here. Yeah, okay. Thanks. I figured we had some somewhere. I just was too lazy to look. Observers. Should we use observers? I think we should, but observer clocks are kind of known for breaking. Which could definitely become a problem. I think I'll use a slightly more reliable clock. So, do something like this. Okay. Right, and it is 12 blocks in between. So, this is where the warden's going to be sitting. It's actually going to be this block. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then this is twelve. I think the bell goes right here. I I think. So yeah, we're just gonna use like the most reliable clock that I've ever found in Minecraft. It's just the repeater, redstone dust. And a redstone torch. I don't I don't think that this one is possible to have break, but we will find out, I guess. Anyway, as you can see, this is very, very loud. And uh yeah, we're just gonna go far away from that real quick. Yeah, so that's gonna distract the warden. And then you can't hear it over here. Yeah, so as as long as you are right here, you won't hear it. I kind of want... I want to move it a block further back, actually. So, everybody, put your ear protection on. <laughs> it's very loud, as you can see. It's kind of the whole point. Uh, right, let's not do that immediately. A block there. Blocks like that. Redstone dust there. I don't want the bell in the inventory. Yeah, so the whole reason why we're building it, like the, the warden area so far down from the rest of it, is because the warden makes a ton of noise, and so does the bell. So we need to build both of these things very far down. Right. There we go. So now we can stand right here, and it'll be fine. Ear protection. It's it's called like earplugs. Yeah, ear, eye, hand protection. Yeah, it's all great. I am realizing that uh, we didn't finish decorating this area before we installed the bell, so I'm just gonna turn off the game sounds. How about that? <laughs> That's a great idea. Actually, if I have any scaffolding, we should probably yeah. Here we go. We can put like a lever on it. 
And then no one will ever turn that lever off because that would mean that they die to a warden. We're gonna go down here for a third time. I could turn off the bell noises, but I think you guys really like the sounds of bells. Do I wear earmuffs with plugs when mowing? Yeah, yeah, earmuffs. You gotta. Mowers are loud, man. Stupid things. Right, I want to get like a little counter right here. Just like a little, 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 little counter, you know, nothing too big. And then we'll put a bell right there and then you can ring that bell. I think I had some stairs. I had some stairs. I think I might have despawned them. Uh, let's use deep slate though. Deep slate's always a good one. We'll make these polished deep slate and then we'll make it into the bricks. Do we want bricks or tiles? I think we might want tiles. That's what it's made out of in the ancient city, isn't it? Pretty sure it's all tiles. Even Mojang knows that tiles are literally the best. And then how tall is the warden? I believe it's three blocks. So yeah, as long as we have like this little thing right here, we should be good. Might put some iron bars in there maybe. And then we gotta start getting these walls decorated. Yeah, we got some glass panes right here. Cool. Grab another bell. Have that on the counter. And then I'm just going to put like a little fence right here and we'll probably use some of the warped fence gates for that. And then we definitely got to go wild harvest some more skulk. This is not very black, is it? Like it says black stone, but there's definitely like a lot of white in there. It doesn't really blend in that well next to black concrete, which is like entirely black. Maybe we get some obsidian in here or something. I don't know. If we put in some skulk, I think that'll be a bit better. Try and break out these lines a little bit. There we go. Something like that. Black in quotes, yeah. Just call it dark stone. Dark stone actually sounds pretty nice. Dark stone. It's like the dark star. Dark star. Cool. We need to go get more skulk. That's what I'm learning about this whole thing. Because we need to have Skulk, like, you know, all over the walls and stuff. I kind of wish there was, like, some Skulk plants that, like, hung down from the ceiling. I think that would be pretty cool. But, yeah, like, this whole this whole thing needs to be Skulkified. Like, we, we gotta have Skulk everywhere. Especially this back corner. I really want this to be Skulk-heavy. Darkstone sounds like a nice building block. It does! You remember when Deep Slate was gonna be called... Grimstone or something? Grimstone. It sounds so much cooler. Sounds great. Grimstone. Right, we got our trusty hoe. Do we need shears to get these? Or do we just need silk touch? Okay, we just need silk touch. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll get a bunch more of these veins. Let's put all this stuff into here, actually. We're just gonna make a quick trip over to the local ancient city. I don't have any night vision. How do I not have night vision? 
Oh, no, I do. Hold up. That's the battle box. That's the box I'm murdering. I grabbed the wrong box. It's got invisibility in it, though. It's not very murdering. Cool. Let's get out of here. Grimstone is better name. I think it was. Although I do like Deep Slate. Because it's a bit more... Descriptive. Nah, slab placing has just always had a bug or two with it. No one's been over here. Because that was still... A dirt block and not a grass block. It's about to complain about not being able to see anything, and then I remembered, oh, dear, I brought a night vision with me. So we could probably use that skulk sensor, because that one's pretty close. Uh, no, sorry. Shrieker. I want to get one that's, like, as close as possible to it. Maybe those two could be good. Yeah, let's use those two, and then we'll just, like, tear out this area over here. Yeah, we should be good. No Shriekers up here. Uh, we'll clear out like this whole side over here of Shriekers. Which I think it kind of already is. So we should be fine to do what we need to do. Deep Slate, more natural. Yeah, I think Deep Slate is more natural. More descriptive where you can find it. <laughs> this whole thing is just like... Four of them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're not going. We're not doing that. We already raided this one. This is one of the first ones that we raided. This was like Ancient City, like two or three or something. Any shriekers over here? Bunch of skulk things. Okay, I guess we'll just clean up this wall over here. That seems seems fair. really want a lot of this vein and I really need a lot of this skulk right here Go to that and I really don't want any water thank you oh is this all water sources I don't know what this is Bugged out water, I guess. Bad generation. Cool. Skulk Man Gang. It's a really nice block. I wish we had this, but like the weeping vines. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Also, that's a missed opportunity. This is why you gotta go re raid your ancient cities. You guys know what to do. Drop a thing in the chat. Guess how many diamonds we're gonna get? It's at least two. That's so, oh my god, it's more. We're combining all of that into one. It's getting exponential over here. What a great place to come to get some skulk. Being able to climb the, climb the veins was a missed opportunity. Yeah, it was. Totally agree with that. Why can't you climb them? You can climb all the other ones, except, like, the glow lichen. Which, which makes sense, because it's a lichen. And lichen's not particularly strong. Don't think that would hold the weight of a full Steve. Oh, yeah, we could add some particles in the ceiling. That'd be cool, actually. Didn't think about that. How much should we get? Uh, not enough. <laughs> Never enough. More. More. 
Uh, let's do the diamonds real quick, though. How many diamonds we getting from this? It's a two. Oh, five. That's pretty decent. Get out of here. Five turns into 12. That's not horrible. We got a 12 from Brainless. One of the first guesses. Congratulations. You get yourself two cookies in the chat. Because you probably guessed before we even knew how many diamonds there were. Incredible job. <laughs> There's one zombie up there. He really wants to kill me, but he just doesn't know how to do it. Doesn't want to sacrifice his legs. This giant mushroom is climbing lichen sounds normal. Yeah, but it's not giant lichen. Right. Is there a shrieker over here? No, they're like all the way over there. Okay. I'm just totally disrespecting this entire city. Just like, oh, this is a nice city you got here. Be shame if someone were to ruin it. Yep, that's me right now. Ruining away. I don't regret anything. I'd do it again. Add more insects. I think we have enough giant insects, to be fair. I don't think we really need giant, like, praying mantises or more giant spiders. <laughs> I think what we really need is more zombies. There's definitely not enough zombies in Minecraft. We should have like a slow zombie. The desert zombies should drop sand, obviously. Obviously. Wasps, termites. Yeah, they did say they were gonna add termites. Giant termites. They can't be smaller than, like, an endermite, though. Endermites are already pretty small. If you if you make them any smaller... Oh, he sacrificed his legs to get me! He did it, guys. I'm so proud of him. It was a valiant effort. Yeah, if they had, like, you know, teeny tiny, like, ants or something, they're gonna be impossible to hit with a sword. Like, already bunnies are pretty difficult to hit. Especially baby bunnies. Yeah, we should try and stay away from all of that over there. I don't know what this area looks like, actually. Let's take a look in here. I didn't make it. There we go. We'll break all these guys. We're going to leave those two skulk uh, thingies. The screamers. The shriekers. Yeah, those dudes. I'm running out of night vision. Did not consider this as a possibility. Now it's really dark. <laughs> Can't see anything. Uh, there's a sensor right up there next to them. Oh, there's two of them. It's not warden time yet, is it? I don't think it's warden time. It's not warden time. Get out of here. We waited long enough. Uh, let's see. What can we get rid of? That might be enough skulk, actually. We might be just barely doing good. I like your voice. You've been here like a thousand times, Char Char. <laughs> but hi. I remember some people on the other streams saying like, oh, you should mine all the skulk. You'll find diamonds underneath them. 
I think this stream is a great example of why that's a bad idea. I think we're also getting full up on the inventory. Should we throw something away? I don't want to throw anything away. There's nothing of low enough value to throw away. That's fortune. Watch out for that. Okay, uh, we should probably be good on the inventory now. Maybe we'll go until we get like the full, full stack. Yeah, Minecraft Dungeons has a lot of good stuff going for it. I don't think it rivals regular Minecraft, though. It's just a very... It's a very different game, you know? It's kind of hard to compare the two. I don't, I don't want to waste any blocks. There we go. <laughs> That's a go. I can make that. Yeah. That's still daytime. No, it's not. Which house do you think he actually lives in? I think we go down this one, actually. He doesn't live in any of them? Ah, oh, that's stupid. Cool, now we got plenty of skulk. That was worth it. I wish this stuff gave you more XP, though. Seems like it should. He's still building houses on <laughs> Okay, yeah. I don't know why I'm not surprised. Oh, yeah, we should... <laughs> we should totally put a warden in one of those. That would be great. I... Yeah, that's a great suggestion. <laughs> That's a fantastic suggestion. Uh, let's get some black concrete out. Maybe a bit of obsidian. Some crying obsidian. I don't know how this stuff is going to look. I brought a bit of the gilded just to see. Oh, you know what? It's not too bad. That's not too bad. Imagine if I broke it with fortune. Great. Let's go ahead and get the majority of it filled in with some skulk. And then we'll go ahead and fill in, like, the excess extra bits. With, uh, regular blocks and stuff. I want it to be, like, 75, 80% skulk. Especially back here, I think a lot of this should be skulk. And then I, I kind of want to figure out a better solution than the carpets for adding a bit of color down here, because they just don't look that great. Uh, I think more of this right here should also be deep slate. Especially above this glass right here. I want this to be like a, a nice little window. Counter area. Where's the deep slate at? There it is. Someone can name the house wardens. You guys heard it here first. You have your you have the blessing of Liz to name the house warden. Tis Tom House Warden. We're totally doing that, by the way. Uh, maybe not tonight, but we will do that at some point. Because that's just too good of an idea not to not to do. This stuff was actually really easy to get a lot of. And so it's a really nice texture too. Like look how sparkly and animated it is. It's great for like starry night skies and stuff. Oh, I made the mistake. Oh no, there goes all the carpets. Whoopsie whoopsie. Did I do that? <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, I did. That's why you gotta put a hole.
Oopsie daisy. <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and rebuild the whole floor real quick. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I'm missing one. Did it like go up or something? I feel like I'm missing one. It was that one. No one called me an A. Hey, that's mean. I wouldn't call you a noob for making a standard mistake like that. Never. Not me. Uh, cool. Keep on filling it in. Yeah, so this one's going to be sunk into the wall a little bit. So we'll have like a little something back there. Maybe some lava or something. I don't know. Oh, wait, this one isn't sunk into the wall. Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are these lined up? They're lined up. That one's got one block behind it. That one's got one block behind it. Well, then... Oh, it's not... Oh. See, there's an extra gap right there. Okay. So we got to move all these in a block. That should do it, right? Because this hole is lined up with the third one. And this hole is lined up. Okay, yeah. Simple enough. Easy peasy. No noobish mistakes over here. Nah, no, no. What are you talking about? I, would, I wouldn't do that. Counting. Nobody knows how to do it. Five. There we go. Yeah, no issues anywhere. Okay, it's getting there. Probably would have been easier to, like, get down a catalyst and then kill, like, a thousand mobs. But where do you get the mobs at, right? It'd be nice if we could throw, throw XP bottles at it and that would have it convert. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it's getting there. I like how this area over here is very glowy. We might take out some of the torches, actually. Just a little bit less light. Yeah, Skull Callus does sound like bones. You're right. Probably because it's made out of a different material than everything else. And then I wanted to have something on this wall right here. So let's line it up with this dude. Because we need a little bit of light. We need to be able to see some something over here. I think I'll just put those like further down. And maybe we use some soul torches or something. Want to make catalyst out of the victim's bones? I think that's I think that's the general idea behind it. Yeah. I think that is the general idea behind what the skull catalyst is built out of. Okay, how's that gonna look? Ooh, I kind of like it. Sorta. Maybe like one or two. Or like in places where you can't really see it too up too much. Oh, they put off light, too. Oh, I forgot about that. That's actually kind of nice. Oh, again. <laughs> cool. What other blocks do I have to mix in here? We got some blackstone. We got coal blocks, obsidian, and black concrete. 
How does Obsidian look? Because we haven't tried that out. That's okay. I think the Blackstone is literally just too bright. Maybe over here on the floor? But I think it's genuinely too bright. To blend in well. Throw it away. Bad. Too bright. But not black enough stone. Uh, maybe some black wool blocks as well. That could be decent. This stuff just isn't very black is the problem. The skulk isn't. It's more of a bluish. It's obviously very blue. And then we'll add in some, like, messiness to it as well. So it's not just going to be so flat. And we're also going to have chests along this wall, I believe. That way we can actually sell more items back here. Because the, the whole point of this is to sell items, you know. Or attempt to sell items. <laughs> not saying anyone's going to buy it, but, you know, the, the attempt is there. Black concrete, yeah. Uh, maybe some black concrete powder, but I feel like that would have a little bit too much of the the white speckles in it, too. What did I just ran out of? I just ran out of wool, I believe. Okay, I'm not worried about that. We don't have any more, anyway. I'm using a lot of these coal blocks. Right, I do need some block suggestions for what to replace these with and what to replace the carpets with because I, I don't have a great idea for that. Because I like the idea of the carpet having some sort of highlight there, but I just don't think it works out that well. Use some obsidian. Yeah, we're putting some obsidian in there. It's mostly going to be like skulk, and then concrete, and then obsidian, and coal will be like the follow-up materials by percentage used. There we go. It's coming along. It's coming along. Yeah. Nice. As soon as we hide all these little bits of stone and stuff, I think that'll really tie it all together. Replace it with nothing. It's just a black hole. Which is still something. Nothing doesn't actually exist. Like, if you want to get technical about it, it doesn't actually exist. So... Even if you pick something, like, complete darkness, that darkness is still something. So if you pick, like, you know, a bit of space, like outer space, like, there's still bits of particles and gases and stuff in that space. It's not complete emptiness. It's not nothing. There's still gravity and light going through there. There's still, you know, the laws of physics in there. And then even if you did truly have nothing that nothing can still be categorized as something. So therefore, it's not truly nothing, is it? Aha, uh -huh. semantics. The winner of all pointless arguments. Cool, it's coming along actually. I do like the little bit of brightness back here, but I still think it's too much. I like how it like spreads out. Redstone blocks, place. Uh... Shriekers, we're gonna have armor stands on top of there, so I don't think that's a great idea. Well, I think... Yeah, I don't know, I just want something to replace these shriekers with, or the catalyst with. Not sure what a great alternative would be. Because this, these are going to be the blocks that our armor stands go on top of. Because we're going to move all the armor into here. All the many, many, many sets of armor that we made the other day. Yeah, those are all going to get moved into here. Uh, 
Oh, whoops, that's carpet. Oh, I didn't put any gilded blackstone in this place. Totally did not forget to do that. Totally not. I intentionally left it void of that idea. Right, so we need to get a warden in there at some point. Ooh, candles, yeah. Nah, because then if we put, like, all those blocks in here diagonal, we're going to have, like, pieces of cobblestone and endstone and purper and other garbage. It's not going to look that great, is it? Let's try... Let's try a flex. What would a flex look like in here? Not really that great. I thought it would look better because it's, like, blue and stuff. But, yeah, nah. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> okay, catalyst it is for now. I like the idea of a flex, but the execution. Just not quite there. Netherite block legitimately would probably do it. Oh, we could just probably do deep slate. Is that better than just the regular... I think it might be. And then we gotta get rid of this carpet too. And then we need to messy up this whole area so that... It looks a bit more natural and skulkish. I get some more stuff hanging down from the ceiling. Little bits here. Mess up the corners. Make it look like it's not, you know, perfectly rectangular room. I ain't, I ain't about to make this whole tube going all the way up Skulk. Now. I ain't nobody got time for that. And then I want to get some shriekers and stuff in here as well. Uh, no sensors, because that's a bad idea. And then we didn't do any veins. Something just hit water. Did you guys hear that? Oh, lodestones would probably look good. Those are so expensive, though. I don't know why they're so expensive. They're, like, ridiculous. Like, they require a netherite ingot, which is stupid. Yeah, so basically the idea with the Skulk veins is just spam them down! Put them everywhere! Put them some over here, over there, over yonder, over there, under that, over there, beyond that. Especially around that thing. Over here, a couple right there, bits and bobs over there, cover up everything, man. And if you can't see a Skulk vein, then there's obviously not enough Skulk veins. Gotta go crazy with it. Okay. Yeah, it's looking decent now. I like it. Uh, we'll put like a block here to kind of mess up that corner a little bit. Maybe like a block right there or something. I don't want to go in there. That's the Borden's place. <laughs> I don't want to invade their, <laughs> their privacy. <laughs> One day the room is all veins. Uh, actually, if you stand right here, you could see the scaffolding. Uh, we'll just cover that up with a carpet, though. And then we need to make a nether portal back there. You said I was going to take a warden? Yeah, we had to decorate this area first. Because there's a there's going to be a warden in there. So if we put a warden in first and then decorated it, we'd probably die. <laughs> right? Sounds like a bad idea, doesn't it? So we're just kind of getting the final touches on this place. And then we're actually just about to go get the warden right now. Okay. Uh, cool. This should be our little zone for all that garbage. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool, that should be 16. Right, so I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've never done this before. I have no idea what I'm doing at all in the slightest, but we're going to see how it goes, basically. Probably die? Probably. The likelihood is a greater than zero chance of dying. I think I used all of my obsidian. I think I, yeah, I used all my obsidian. Uh, we need 20 obsidian. How much obsidian can you spot? One, two... It's not enough city. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'd put down a lot more obsidian in here, but apparently not. How many inner chests do I have? 13. Okay, we're going to sacrifice a couple of these dudes. 8. That'll be 16. It's not enough for nether portals. See, that's why it's so useful to have uh, inner chests everywhere. Because they're made out of obsidian. There was none in here. I didn't th I thought I had like a box of use that had a bunch of obsidian in it, but I think I don't anymore. When is Liz not trying to get me killed? Let's be honest. Liz and Salt, two banes of my existence when it comes to trying to stay alive over here. All right, let's take the crappy shovel and the crappy pickaxe. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? Let's not. Oh, the crappy elytra, too. Oh, man. Hopefully none of that goes up the elevator. I think almost all of that went to the elytra. Did that do anything at all? I don't think that did anything at all. Poor Liz, they're the one trying to get me to name a warden over here. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, we gotta get that name tag ready. Right, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Zoy the Wasperer Manager. And it needs to be with the light blue color as well. So we need to get that stacked S symbol in there. I believe it's a three, yep. So the Wasperer Manager, cool. That's gonna be the name of our warden. that back in there now did i happen to bring the armor stands and did we get ourselves the warped wood we didn't get the warped wood but we do have the armor stands so yeah we really need to rename that box <laughs> it's a lot of junk That's why I brought all these shulkers with me. Four obsidian. Uh, we should be good on all fronts, I believe. Just cut more boxes of junk. Nobody could have seen that coming. Empty, empty, and empty. Let's take all of these ones upstairs and just kind of clear out this whole area, shall we? Right, which one of these had any of the, like, skulk in it? There we go. Yeah, we're just going to move everything up in case we die. And this area becomes unusable. Because if we get, like, a warden down here, that's not going to be a good time for any of us. You know what? I don't want that one to be hidden, actually. There we go. Yeah, that should look pretty good once we have all the armor sets on there. 
that should look pretty solid because we're gonna have like every single type of trimmed armor they're all gonna be diamond and shiny and enchanted mmm delicious yeah you can you can keep wardens forever it has got to be name tagged and they got to be having a noise machine I really need to move this Pesto touch it because it's just in a bad spot like we step on that every single time we come out there we go one block over get this thing to activate there we go you know what? I don't want to go out there it's nighttime it's dark and scary what can I say Uh, we need to make some nether portals and some nether tunnels. That's like our next goal in life right now. I think I want to keep the fortune on us, but we also need soap touch for the inner chest. Oh, and then we need slabs. Hold up. Do we have the... Yeah, here we go. Because we need to slab out a 7x7 seven seven area around the skulk thingy, the shrieker, and then that'll prevent the spawning range of it. And then let's bring in some filler blocks as well. I made a tutorial on how to farm the wardens like way back, and I'm just now remembering like everything I said in that tutorial. Oh, vexes? I don't know about vexes. You could probably keep it in a boat or something though. And then they'll probably be fine. Right, let's head back down, build up ourselves that nether portal. Uh, set the spawn point. Cool, thank you. Vex pet now? Yeah, sure, why not? Mm, how do we want to do this? Right, so we'll get the warden through here. And then... We'll have to, like, bring it out somehow. Oh, okay, we have to turn on the bell. Yeah, okay. Bell's important. So, if we do it right... If we do it right, the warden should spawn from that nether portal. And then just want to walk over to here? And then we're going to have it be blocked in with these two blocks. So it's going to be stuck in the nether portal. We'll come through the nether portal as well. Or maybe we'll do like another nether portal because that seems kind of sketchy. Uh, and then it should be able to hear the bell. Yeah, it can hear the bell. Okay. Great. I can hear the bell too and I don't like it. <laughs> so we'll lure it out of here into its like permanent zone. And then... About to seal up all this garbage and we'll like get into here and stuff. And then we'll like cover up this dude. Okay. So remind me to bring down some skulk and a carpet when we come through here. Also, 3065, 1624. 3065, 1624. Right, we need to do some. The vision right now. You divide those coordinates by eight. That gives you 383. 1624. Divide that by eight. And that gives you a 203. So that's where we need to build in the nether. And then that's, of course, going to be negative positive. Okay. Let's go. Where is it going to put me? Probably in the regular tunnel. Yeah. Cool. Good place to be. So, 383. That's like right over here. 203. 
cool. So this is where the nether portal needs to go. And then we'll have a tunnel going this direction by 50, 60 blocks. And then that's how we're going to lead the warden down. How we're going to do that? Pfft, I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. We'll figure that out once we, uh, once we do the thing. Also, we're going to need another noise machine, I believe. Warden run. Yeah, we should get some snowballs, I think. That seems like probably a good idea. Stinky big head time. <laughs> yes. Should be snow somewhere around here, right? Yeah, log in and out to the aggro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. Because you told me <laughs> earlier. Allegedly, you're supposed to get snow layers if you do this, because soak touch on a shovel should give you snow layers, but no. Okay, I feel like three stacks is probably enough, but I also don't feel like it's enough. I feel like it should be much, much more. Oh, we don't have enough obsidian again because we had to build two nether portals. That's right. Okay. We didn't even build them of corners. Does this one at spawn have corners? It doesn't have corners. Okay. That's great. That's, that's fantastic. Don't worry, guys. I got more inner chests. 12. We can put some corners on this one. <laughs> Maybe clean out the inventory a little bit. Okay, then. Let's uh, go to our ancient city. Wee. Forgot how dark this place was. So our shrieker is like right there, and there shouldn't be any sensors around it, so we should be pretty much good to go for all the shenanigans that we want to do. We're gonna build up a base around it of just solid blocks, like a big old cube underneath it. That way we can determine where we get the warden to spawn. We can like tell it where we want it to be, basically. And then I don't think I brought any shears. I shouldn't matter though, because I don't think there's any shriekers. Let's find out. Hello, any shriekers? Hello, looking for shriekers. No, not shriekers, sensors, hello. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, what? Oh my God, they're right up there. See, this is why you gotta, I guess, bring a tool with you to break these. That's very close to being activating, but not. Ugh, can't quite reach it. There we go. It's just, oh my god, break the thing. Thank you. Why does it take so long? Jeez, man. You just got a 30 second unskippable ad with Old Town Ronas to the background music. I'm so sorry. Yeah, there's been a lot of ads on Twitch recently. It's like way, way too many. Like an unbearable amount. Have you guys experienced that? Because Groova, like, he, he did some science. He, uh, he was watching a stream the other day and he kept track of all the ads. And it was like legit 20 ads over the course of an hour. It was so many. Like, okay. And it was like four, five, six ads in a row, too. Like, just ridiculous amounts. All right, let's fill it all up to this layer, and then we'll put some slabs on top of this layer. And then that'll prevent the wardens from spawning where we don't want them to be. 
I'm just gonna go four blocks out in every direction. So I think that's a good idea. I'm not sure what the range is. I'm pretty sure it's seven by seven, which will be three blocks, but we're gonna be a little bit extra careful today. We're probably gonna be getting multiple wardens from this thing over time, so why not do it proper? We also gotta get rid of all this stuff. Height is a problem. Uh, I guess we don't need all that, but whatever. Yeah, so I want to avoid having, like, Warden spawn, like, down here, for example, because that would be a problem that we would then have to solve. And I don't like solving problems. Three, four. It's going to look ugly, but whatever, right? Who cares? Get some netherrack in there? No, I'm not going to go that low. <laughs> it'll look ugly, but it'll have standards, okay? It'll have some standards. We have to feel like I guess we can come back and put some uh, nice blocks on the outer edges or something. Right then, that should be all that we need for this, I think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Should be good. We have standards. We have some standards some of the time. Occasionally, it is allowed. Just just sometimes, though. I want to make that very clear. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. Sometimes. Occasionally. Pretty sure they can spawn on top of that shrieker as well. And then we're gonna set up a noise machine right behind the nether portal. I think that'll do it. And then let's get like some walls around here. I feel like that's probably gonna do. So they can't spawn on lower slabs. Because, you know, wardens are just impervious to basic spawn proofing. <laughs> Or, no, I had that backwards. They are immobilized. Powerless against basic mob spawning. Yeah, it should be pretty good. Should be pretty good. Uh, we're gonna make this thing too wide right here. So he's got some options. Yeah, so this is... You know what? Let's maybe line it up with the actual streakers. They're... Put it back in there. Just a couple blocks. This will be room for the noise machine. And then now the portal will just be right here. And then I need room to run away far, far away. Always a good idea. Have your escape plans ready to go. I don't know if wardens can spawn on the frame of another portal. It's probably a good thing to know. Uh, so we're not going to figure that out. We're going to build another portal right here. We might need even more obsidian than this. This machine is not necessary. Yeah, because they'll just chase me. That's a great idea. I love it. Thanks, Kaz, for the wonderful suggestion. <laughs> yes, let's do it like that. They shouldn't be able to spawn right there. If they do, I don't think it'll be a problem. All right, let's get our coordinates. Negative 3203. 3203. And that's going to be 1599. And then we bust out the calculator yet again, because calculator is the best invention ever. What was it, 3203? Divide that by some 8. That gives you a negative 400. 1599. Divide that by eight, and that gives you 199. 
Okay. Let's go. Yeah, see, same place again. Are we going to go over here? So we got to go to 190. So 400 by 199. It's like right over here. Oh, wait, we went too far, actually. Oh, well. 400 by 199. It's literally right here. I still don't have enough obsidian. Man, I am just sacrificing so many ender chests for today's stream. I'm sorry. But you are the weakest link. Ugh. Cool. That one's soap touch. Okay, so it's going to come out right here. How close are we to that portal? I feel like we're very close to that portal. Oh, we're like right next to it. Okay, uh, let's hope that that doesn't break anything. Are we literally lined up with it? There's no way that that's like linked properly. Yeah, okay, that's probably gonna be a problem. Probably gonna be a big problem. Cool. Well, let's just uh, yellow it, shall we? I'll make sure to bring wardens through when everybody's online and going through that nether portal, and then that should resolve all the issues. Probably. Right, so we just got to get it from here to there. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Until you realize that we're messing up a warden. Originally, I thought you could just put them in a minecart, and I was gonna be like, "Oh, this is so easy," but no, it's not quite, not quite how it goes. Can't have those nice of things. Murphy's Law plus Wardens equals content. <laughs> all right, let's do a little recap of what all we got set up here. We're gonna have a little escape area that we can like run out of here with uh, in case things do go bad. I'm gonna go probably get some more totems out of this as well. But yeah, let's, let's pop through here and make sure this actually links. <laughs> Put a warden on a camel. I think it works, I hear a bunch of bells. Cool, lovely. Yeah, but now we can't hear it anymore, okay. I don't need more carpets. Yeah, let's do a little recap of what we've done so far. And then we'll actually get into the warden. Cool. It's a lot of a lot of shulkers. How is it still nighttime? Every single time that I go up there, it's nighttime. It's just it's a thing. It's never daytime. Not once. So to recap, we got ourselves the pink warden out here, which is just the facade of the shop. Of course, you know, it's got very important messages for you. And then you go down and this is going to be the front of the store, aka, like, you know, where we sell the, the non-illicit, non-illegal items. Uh, I have yet to get that set up. But then if we drop down over to here, we're going to have, that's the exit. This one over here is the entrance. I haven't quite learned the layout yet. Uh, but if you drop down this very long hole, 80 blocks down, this brings you to the actually nice store where we're going to have every single set of armor trim built on some lovely, fabulous enchanted diamond armor. Need to get that stuff in here soon. And then we're going to sell actually illegal items down here, like maybe some nether portal blocks and other content coming soon. Back here is going to be the warden dude. Now, if we step over here, you can start to hear the bell. It's very noisy. 
So this is gonna be like the little warden kiosk. You can ring the bell to get the bell to get the warden's attention if you feel like it. In case you needed more bell noises. Uh, but now we need to actually get the warden in here. So we got a sound machine down there that's going to distract the warden, and we're gonna bring it through this nether portal. Right, so this nether portal... Yeah. So this nether portal happens to be, like, literally right next to the main nether portal to Cherry Chunk Town. And that's not all. We have a little tiny tunnel right here, which I'm glad is so short. This nether portal is, like, five blocks behind the other portal. I'm sure that it links up fine. This goes direct to our Skulk Shrieker, where we're actually going to be summoning the Wardens. Actually, I lied. Apparently, it just goes to this! I swear, I linked you properly. I, I should have tested that maybe once, but I did link it properly. Like, I, I did the coordinates and the dividing and the things and the stuff. Uh, we, we're just gonna, just gonna do a little bit of griefing real quick. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll go back down through that portal over there. That sounds easier. Noise machine on both sides. We probably should get a noise machine in there, yeah. Noise machine in the nether. I think that'd be a good idea. And then... Noise machine by the Shrieker. Probably both a good idea. Bell! Right, then hopefully it links up properly now. Hopefully, after the griefing, it actually just works. Come on, Mojang, make the portal work for me, will ya? I'm just trying to tame a warden here. It's all I want in my life. Did it work? I can't tell. Yay, there it goes. Okay, so this is going to be the warden summoning zone. It looks like a boxing ring. I assure you, I am not about to fight that thing because I would die. But we need an escape tunnel over here. Always good to have a warden escape tunnel. And we're just about ready to summon this thing, I believe. Just about there, guys. I know I've been I've been leading you on the whole stream, but it's, it's the finale. We're, we're doing it. It's real. Uh, so he's got like a 20 block range? I think the, the whole area is like over here. It's that big opening where we got all of our skull from. It's like over here somewhere. Did I dig past it or something? Oh, no, here we go. I, I did dig past it by one block. 15 block range. Oh, is it only 15? I swore it was 20. Yeah, this is two blocks, so we can just, like, meow. Oh, I didn't grab more totems. I should have grabbed more totems. But yeah, once we get in, get over to here, then we'll be pretty fine to just, like, fly on out of here. Good old escape tunnel. Uh, and then we need to get our noise machine up and running. Always good to have a noise machine. Oh, you know what? Warden could totally come through the portal. Yeah, we don't want that. Well, the warden spawns back here. <laughs> contingencies. We need contingencies. Uh, that should be fine. I think we'll be good. Definitely not nervous, guys. Can you tell? No, nah, no, nah, I'm not nervous at all. Never happened to me. Professional Minecrafter. Uh, piston. Whoop, that's not piston. Piston, repeater, torch, redstone, lever. Wait, hold on, I'm doing this wrong. Or am I? There we go. That should be noisy enough to get its attention. And then I just need another redstone torch, I think. And then lever. Cool, let's go build one on the other side. Slap the back area. I think we'll be fine. I think I know the, the range. Right, we're probably gonna have to break both of the nether portals over there. 
just uh, relink that one up. Probably. Oh my god, just go on two ticks, thank you. Actually, I thought that that would keep the same speed. Anyway, right then. I like tacos, burritos more. Mmm, I'm a burrito person. Sorry, not sorry. Right, where is our snowballs at? Oh, and then I wanted to get more totems, too. All the one totems that I have left. Should probably go run the raid farm. Oh no, I got two. Okay, okay. Uh, let's bring Netherrack with us because we can instant mine that. And then we'll put that away. We'll put that away. We'll put uh, the fortune away. Don't think I need those or those. Gonna need that. Okay. That's looking like a pretty solid hot bar. Should probably have some blocks in the hot bar. Taco sandwiches, aka burrito. Mmm, delicious. Alrighty. Did I keep that noise machine on back there? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. For real Z deal Z this time. Probably. Uh, I, I think we do actually need those blocks out because they're like three blocks tall. Cool. I think we are legitimately, actually, properly, fully, completely, 100%, totally, and thoroughly ready for this job. Definitely no nervousness happening around here. Uh, so if I stand on this, they probably won't be able to spawn. Because I don't think they can spawn on any of these slabs, and unless they can spawn on top of that or something. Uh, let's turn on the noise machine for good measure. Spawn me a warden! I'm jumping on both of you, come on. Should give me double speed wardens. Double speed wardens. I don't think my warden farm works, guys. How many times do you need to go? I think it's like three. Come on. Do it. Just do it. I have no idea where it spawned. I have literally no idea where it spawned. That is not a good sign. <laughs> I thought I was completely, thoroughly, 100% totally, completely ready for this. Uh, that warden did not spawn where it should have. Where did it spawn? Above me? No. It wouldn't do that. It, uh, my warden would never spawn above me. Would it? Oh, it's cheese, man! Don't need to give me a heart attack like that. I don't see it or hear it. Did it actually spawn? Hello, Warden. Hello. I don't think there's a Warden here. I think that was a total psych out. I don't think there's a Warden. But there was totally like the noise and the animation and the darkness and like the, the whole thing. Unless I went through the nether portal. Or it spawned up there. I don't think it spawned up there. We should probably spawn proof that. Hold up. Did, maybe it spawned and went through the portal? That seems unlikely. I didn't see, like, the, the particle bits on the ground. Hmm. Okay, there is a trick to know, though. Uh, if you have a warden aggroed at you, all you gotta do is log out of the game. Just, just completely leave. It'll forget about you. And then, uh... Once you log back in, it won't be aggroed at you. Right, so now's the time where we gotta go check in the nether. Yay! <laughs> Could totally be a warden on the other side of this. 
Oh, there's a warden! Ah, run! It's very angry at me! It's very angry at everything! Running far away. Oh, I didn't name tag it. Hold up, I should probably go back and name tag it. <laughs> why do I want to sell wardens again? Oh my god, why is it so mean to me? I didn't do anything to you. Stop it. I didn't do anything. There's a noise machine. We gotta log out. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of its uh, attention here. <laughs> Surprise warden. That's great. <laughs> I really didn't think it would be there. Donkey's gonna get it. So lucky for me, this entire tunnel is like carpet. So we should be good, right? We should be good. We should be good, guys. You you should really you should really go the you should really go the other way. Like please go go the other way. He can't smell you. Oh, he can smell me! Bro, there's a noise machine back there and everything. Just go through the nether portal. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do a combat log. Yeah! Get rid of get rid of those agronists. He really should have gone through the nether portal. Probably went around the portal. Now there's no way for him to do that. <laughs> this is going well. Shut up. <laughs> it is going well. We have a warden and the nether. Come on. Why doesn't take so long to join the server? Join the server. Join the server. Do the thing. Or don't. Because then I don't need to fight a warden. It's not doing it, guys. Bro, what's your problem? My, even Minecraft isn't on my side. It's like, nah, you don't got this. Stop on your head. Please, stop. Get some help. What are you doing? There we go. We'd be very, very quiet. Very, very quiet. Uh, how have you not died, but I've died like twice? Come on, horse. Go into the- You're literally standing in the nether portal. You're literally standing in the nether portal. What is your problem? Bro, come on. That's, that's broken, man. Is there like a cooldown or something? There might be a cooldown. Uh, but yeah, this is a good proof of concept, actually. So, we uh, are standing right here. He's standing over there. He's got a noise machine on him. We're totally fine. As long as we don't make too much noise, he won't actually shoot at us. Uh, it's very convenient that this is all carpeted, actually. So, I, I did not realize that there was apparently a nether portal cooldown. Is that news to everybody else? Definitely news to me. I'll... Go back in the portal. Go back in the portal. You're touching the portal. I can literally see your foot. Your toenail is in the portal. Now your whole thing is in the portal. That is lit. You can see the particles. So do we like go and break the portal now? I feel like we need to break the portal and then relight it or something. Punch the warden into the portal. I think that's a horrible idea. Can't even break it because he's like in it. Go into the portal! Bro, unintended, unexpected consequences of moving wardens through the through the thing. Uh, I guess now is a good time as any to like name it. Although I feel like he's kind of angry at me. I feel like he's a little bit angry at me. Anyway, he's this one that Wasper manager. Go into the nether portal, dude. Do it. Just do it. You know you want to. You don't want to live in the nether. The nether's a very bad, ugly, stinky, smelly place. I would know I'm from here. Just go into the portal, man. <laughs> there we go. You're literally standing in the nether portal. What is your problem? Okay. We're going to break this, and then we're going to leave. And then we're, we're just going to seal this up. And then we'll never speak of this again. 
<laughs> I really thought it would just work. <laughs> why does it work? I don't know why it doesn't just work, guys. I was fully prepared. I had everything ready. Everything was going great. I don't know what his problem is. <laughs> oh, man. Now, the overall portal doesn't have anything to do with it. Right. Uh, so, I think we're just going to wait like a minute. Hope for that portal cooldown thingy McBob to like go away and then we'll relight the portal again and we'll call it good. I think that's I think that's our solution to this problem. Uh, just wait it out. Now he went through the three block tall portal before. He should be totally fine. And the other like the overall side of the portal has no effect on anything. The game doesn't even know that that exists until it like tries to play something there. So walk out and back in stupid yeah they're still connected they're fine and I think and we're doing all right everything's good everything's good don't worry about it guys do you make noise on the moss carpet does that count as carpet it says carpet in the name How long is the cooldown, Liz? I would assume it's like 30 seconds. I'm gonna give it a minute, just like wait, you know? Be chill with it. Why is there even a cooldown? That's so stupid. Like what, 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 what? But what? Yeah, all the, all the noises. What's the server? This is truly Bedrock. Bedrock edition, let's play survival server. Server with a bunch of whole different people on it. You know what? Zero! Welcome back for 55 months! Cooldowns for everything. Slow mo time! <laughs> That's your solution, yeah. You move them long distance? Uh huh, way to flex, thanks. Right, so I kind of forgot where the hole is. Oh my god! Horse, what did I tell you to get out of here? Oh, he smells me! That sounded really weird, but, you know, it's accurate. Right, so where's the hole in the wall at? I said we would never speak of it again, but I, I kind of lied. It's, it's somewhere over here. Where is it? Okay. Combat log! Portal cooldown is 15 seconds according to the wiki. Okay, well, we should be totally fine, then. How many pickle deaths this stream? Zero. Perpetually zero deaths. Zero deaths. Let's go. I still got two totems, guys. Oh, it's right here. Let's go and fix all this stuff real quick. Combat log! I do want to kill some Mordens this stream as well. That way we can actually get some Morden heads. That seems pretty imperative. Gonna be very, very sneaky. I don't know how you haven't died. Right then. Bloop. Bloop. There we go. That's how, uh, that's how we do it, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. And now you know what the problem is? Now we have a dude in the overworld. And he's uh, totally not going to be angry at me at all. Cool. Let's combat log. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> I think this will make for a good video. Okay, well now he should have forgotten that I exist. We're going to double hold the totems. We're going to go through here and we're just going to run. Please don't kill me, 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 please don't kill me. Run away, run away, run away, very far by. Cool. Okay, how do I get out of here? I just built this place, I'm not familiar with it yet. Now death portal. No, he's fine. Combat log! Wait, 
Which should take so long to log in. There we go. Okay, we got the dude. I just need to break a couple of blocks and he'll be totally fine. I kind of forget. Oh, that's not fair at all. I just logged back in. Combat log. It does like eight hearts of damage. And I have like full netherite protection for all the things. Come on now. Not fair at all. Let's uh, get out of here. How about that? That seems like a good idea. Let's uh, not be down there anymore. Probably help if I eat. Mm, delicious carrot. Cool. We're going to wait for the regen to go. And then we'll drop it back down. And we'll be good. Hopefully, probably, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I die. I've never died before. Not once. Never happens. Most of my seasons are truly bedrock. It's basically like a hardcore world because I, I like maybe die once or twice at the beginning of the game. And then after that, it's like never. Not once have I ever died. A couple truly bedrock seasons have had like zero or one death. Crazy. Good times. Okay, let's go. He's still angry at me. What did I just... What happened? Okay. Loading screens for no good reason, then. Cool. Hope <clears throat> the boring case of your invisible. No, he smells. He smells you. He doesn't see you. He's blind. Okay. We're totally good. Everything about this is perfectly fine. We're totally fine. Nothing could ever go wrong. See, he's going to be very mad at us. But as long as we have distance between us, we're actually good. But as soon as I walk in there, that's when we start having problems. So, I need to break that little skulk block. And then I need to break one of those other two blocks. And then we should be good. Because then he'll hear the bell and he'll just, like, run in there. No, no smelly. No smelly, smelly. I just took a shower. You can't smell me at all. Leroy! Oh, I got to break this block. It's really slow. Leroy! Get out of the portal. 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 There we go. There we go. We got a warden on our shop. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so as you can see, we're actually fine right here because we got that distance between us. He's going to be doing all the sniffing and the hearing and the ear wiggling. And he's going to be just hearing the ding, ding, ding of the bell down there. And as long as we don't go across this line right here, he should never shoot at us. And he shouldn't despawn or anything. Uh, but um, now, of course, we have a problem with that little thing back there that we need to fill in. And a couple extra blocks, so I need to do that real quick. But uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Bye! As long as he doesn't smell pancakes. Ah, oh, I'm wearing the pancake! The pancake. Right, I need some skulk and I need some carpets. You guys did not remind me to bring those things down there. You had literally one job, and you failed. I don't know if I can ever forgive you. I don't know how we're going to rebuild our trust after this. No, no, no. You got to stay in there. Okay. Right, so this is the super sketchy part. Oh, he's looking at me. I don't like that. I'm like an Enderman. Just don't look at me. Don't look. Don't look at me. Wait, he doesn't even have eyes. Okay. He's not looking at me. Cool. That solves that problem. So great. Now you can ring for service. <laughs> this is amazing. I love it. Uh, so we are going to be selling wardens. I don't know what the price for a warden should be. That was really fun. But let me know what you think we should charge for a warden. Because I think it should be kind of expensive for warden delivery services. Uh, it should be it should be fairly expensive, right? Like, you know, it's fairly, fairly expensive. And not just like the 12 bamboo kind of expensive. 10 diamond blocks. I was thinking minimum 2 diamond blocks. But I think that's way undercharging. 5 diamond blocks. Is that how much you charge for this? That's pretty fair. 
it seems like five diamond blocks would probably be like a fair price or like the minimum price. Maybe, maybe it depends on distance, you know? Like if you want one in the end dimension, like nah, man, you're getting a premium price. Also sell <laughs> Yeah, insurance is another thing that we need to sell for these guys. Uh, it just is great. But yeah, so if I stand like right here, he's probably gonna shoot me. That's just how it works. He might not do it immediately, but he'll probably shoot me. Maybe? Maybe not. See, it's actually pretty safe. Now, if you go like right here, he's guaranteed gonna get pretty angry at you. And if you punch the warden, I there's no warranty. No, <laughs> we're not responsible for death or dismemberment if you happen to punch my warden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now death or dismemberment policies over here. Uh, right then, we need to bring over all of our armor. And everything else that we're selling. Cool. That was really good, guys. Uh, we also need to set up, like, the redstone for this dude up here. That was really fun, actually. I really enjoyed that. Uh, before we get off for the night, though, we do need to clean up some things. Keep that to out of my box of murder. Uh, so we gotta go rebuild that nether portal. I should have had an obsidian from that. I don't know where that obsidian went. Did I throw it away somewhere? I might have, actually. Is it in this box? Yeah, there it is. Right, so we gotta go... Just fix the portals. And then I need to get some warp wood as well. I think we can do that tonight. I still don't know where the warden actually spawned. I guess he did spawn inside the nether portal. <clears throat> My farm's still working 1.20? Yep, 1.20 didn't really break anything or change anything. So everything from the olden updates still works. Oh, that's my redstone box. <laughs> I would have completely forgot that that was down here. Uh, I guess we'll leave that on. Whatever, right? Cool. That should fix that problem. With the portal linkage. I love that the ancient city is just, like, right there. It's so convenient. I wanted to build the shop down there originally, but I figured it'd be cooler to have it, like, over here. Should we go find a warp for us real quick? I was like that little hole right there so we know where it's at. I don't know how the horses and donkey didn't die. How? I think I found the center portal. I don't have any... Don't have any of the uh, fire resistance. Right, where would a warp forest be? I think I've seen some, but I have no idea where. Also, spawn is like negative 100 zero. Here, little forest, forest, forest. Oh, you know what? I think it was up by the. Yeah, up here. Here we go. I know I saw someone somewhere. It was like right next to spawn. Right by Zloy's gold farm. What's next farm I'll be posting? Uh, I need to record the item categorizers. 
totally saw something fall in there. And then I really need to record the mangrove tree farm. Like, really, 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 really need to do that. Really, 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 really need to do that. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to pillar up. Bad at parkour. <laughs> it's just one log anyway. We need kind of a lot of these because we need to make a bunch of hanging signs. And then some fences as well. Make a cherry tree farm if I can. The cherry tree farm is a mangrove farm. And the mangrove farm is a cherry tree farm. It's an all-in-one. It's basically universal. It just doesn't do dark oak. Because dark oak is stupid. Right, let's grab a bunch of these silly little vine thingies. I wish we had these, but in the skulk. I think that'd be great. And like dangling from the ceiling. I think those would be great. Because these so go with the biome. They just really work. I think that's 17 though. That's That should be fine. It's only been a full update. Yeah, but now it's going to be... It's going to be advertised as a cherry and mangrove tree farm. Because that's what it is, you know. I've been sitting on that for like a month. Longer than a month, I think. Yeah, I guess we'll just go back to Cherry Town. Oh, wait. Uh, it's on Yellow Tunnel. Tell you what the wrong way. Ow. Can this perhaps be placed on Skulk? I don't know. That's a good question. Does it do Acacia? It does. It does everything. I've shown it in stream a couple times before. I just really need to make a video on it. I just know it's going to take like literally 10 hours to make that video. So I've been kind of procrastinating on that. Oh, you can! I love it. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, we're going to use these in the next stream. Uh, so the next live stream is going to be on Saturday, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8.30 Eastern, late UK and early Australian. You guys know the deal. Drop a follow if you enjoyed the content. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next live stream over on YouTube and our Discord server over on TikTok and Twitter and all the places. Follow me everywhere. That's not the right command. Oh, I just unplugged my headset, so I don't need to hear all that stuff anyway. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching tonight. Thank you for all of the gifted subs and the resubs and the biddies and the follows and everything. Uh, let's end by rating someone as we always do. Where is a good place to raid? Is there even anybody to raid? Let's see. Check out the Twitch team. No, that's not it. Twitch. TV slash team slash truly bedrock. And usually it remembers this URL, but it doesn't this time. Uh, nobody's streaming from truly bedrock. Great. That's fantastic, of course. And no one else that I know is streaming. So you guys know what that means. We're going to go hang out with the Marine Mammal Rescue Center and look at some cute otters. Yeah, I'll catch you guys over there in the next one. I love your faces. Have a good night. Bye.